So you guys are getting a little healthier on the line, I understand. Can you give me kind of an, an injury update? Where where are you guys at? And who's, who's ready to come back? Well, you know, uh, Grant Anger, I think, is back. Obviously, he started practicing last week during our bye. And, uh, you know, kind of slowly worked through it. And uh, I think he's back right now. Um, you know, uh, Gavin Andrews had that mono deal. Uh, we're trying to get him in shape, you know, get his legs back, get his game conditioning back. Um, but he'll be, you know, obviously ready to back up, I think, this week. So, which is a good thing because I didn't know who was going in next. <laughs> right, right. Is it a relief for you to have these guys oh, yeah. getting healthy? Now? No question. You know, it was uh, obviously a little, a little added stress, you know, but it's part of the job, you know. So you got to get that next guy ready to go. Yeah. Isaac, having the ability to, to move over to tackle, how, how for a coach, how great is it to have a guy like him on the line that in a pinch you can move around? Well, I mean, it's big. You know, over the years we've had a few of those guys. Andy Levitri was a guy like that could play anywhere. Roy Schoen was right like that. Uh, you know, it's funny, Joe and I were talking coming back from the, the airport yesterday, you know. I think we started coaching Isaac when he was in sixth grade, you know, him on the D-line, me on the O-line, but he was one of those guys that always came to our practice and it wasn't just to come hang out, it was learning. So obviously, uh, you know, he's just a great technician, he's a smart, smart guy, and, you know, could pretty much play right tackle, left tackle, right guard, left guard, or center, so. Washington State defensively, what do they do? Well, you know, they're going to change up their looks for us. Uh, they're going to be some four down, three down. Uh, real good front group, real physical and aggressive with great motors and hustle and just play really hard. Uh, you know, got a great group of linebackers that are good at the reads and, and, and attacking. And So obviously, you know, we, we got to be ready for a tough, tough, tough game. Yeah. yeah. For you guys to get through the first five games with – with the injuries that you've had and be able to protect Sean the way that you have. Um, how, I guess, how proud are you of, of your linemen for weathering that storm of, of having you know, so few numbers and right. having to burn red shirts and, right. and still keep Sean on his feet? And I mean, he's the leading passer in the country by like 400 well, yards right now. Well, obviously, I'm proud, but I didn't, you know, by no means were we perfect, and that's what I want. You know what I mean? Uh, he's gotten hit, and we've given up a few sacks. and. I don't want any sacks or, or hits on the guy, you know what I mean? And that's the pride that we have to take and it's anticipating what's coming, uh, making the right calls. And uh, you know, obviously you have base rules and then adjustments, so we gotta be sharp with our adjustments.